Hey everybody, welcome back to the series Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time we finished the tutorial after three whole episodes. This time we explore, explore the world and find out what awaits us in this wide world of Pokemon. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, bye. Fight, see about this. See what I need for fucking Drifloom. Why is it? Oh, I've probably gotta go show the data. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's use confusion, hypnosis, ghost type moves. All right. I have to catch the twenty at night. I don't have one. Oh no! This is bad. Oh, the other one's gone. Bonk. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. He should- You're trying to confuse me, stop! I'm gonna just turn it for the night. I don't have the proper equipment for this. I, to you. I see you've got 14 Pokemon. Can I report your findings? Yes. Whoa. Not as many Pokey dollars, but whatever. You've made good progress on these research tests, drawing. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Celery. It's time you earned yourself a star. Oh boy, I get a gold star. Where's the guy who wanted the shanks? Here's a shanks. Wait, no. Checking the stats. Yeah, this one's all right. Sorry. Why'd you turn it around? Just look at it when I released it. Wow! It's got swords for ears! That's it! Its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them! Kinda like a star! I sound like a doofus! Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the bones, <laughs> only the throats, my brain, and the bones of thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone. Okay, calm down. We're in public. Who else had a mission? You, I think. Oh, never mind. I just get a parcel. Oh, nice. I forgot to voice you. Please take care. Bleh. Please take good care of such fine attire. Thank you and good night. Welcome, young man. What can I help you with today? Oh, okay. Never mind. Come back anytime, dear. Anytime, dear. I don't want to get a haircut at 8 p.m. Or so. Whatever the time is. Did you have a first? Oh, you have completed Star Lab 3 in your Pokédex. Hurry, let me read it! Oh my god, that is a close zoom up. Hmm, wait a moment. Male and female Star Lab have different appearances. What do we see? So the markings on their foreheads are different sizes! Incredible, I had no idea! Thank you for letting me read it. It's Pokédex entry. Now that I can know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Star Please, if you find- I just imagine- I can't find- 
I can one day imagine myself touching a starly at the nearest KFC. <laughs> Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Huh? You sure about that? Are you, are you sure about that? You liar. You're a liar. Yes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. I'm just gonna check for the lower, lowest stats. I think it's this one. Can't be bothered to go back over. A smooth curl on a feather of it on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. What about the beak and the legs? Why, hello there, Starling. Wanna paint it? No! <laughs> I'm allergic, you idiot! I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let a loose move. Who outside of the server corps or security corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet starly. Some people would think we'll see a Pokemon and simply flee, flee on sight, you know. Like I just did, like a complete moron, because that's a bird. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in the Pokédex might put them more at ease. Hey, thanks, you just saved me ten thousand dollars. Like, literally. That co that would have cost me ten thousand dollars. Moving on. Wait, what? Why do you have Pokeballs if you can't even face a Pokemon? You can't face a bird. Like, you can't face it. I wonder what a starling would look like. Lady, it's right. You could hear it. Aww. What a dummy. Did you have a quest? They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my suit food roots. That's a funny word. Sentence. To make a potato mochi tasty. That could have gone better. Alright, you needed a. what was it? Wormple? Have you got my Wormple you could give me? Yes, I have several. And by that I mean seven. Six. I have six. I was about to, I looked at the rough book when I was like. Wow, look at that Wurmple when it's high stats! And I look to the right. Oh, that's a ponytail. I didn't even look at the picture. Yes. You really brought me one! You must be as good as the rumors say! I'm not gonna name this. I'm not gonna name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve as a Pokemon known as a Beauty Fly. So I should give it a name what, with, th with that in mind. Hmm. Hmm. This is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautitia, Beautifriend, or Eugene? Eugene, duh. No, I'm just kidding. Hmm. Beautitia, Beautifriend, Eugene. I'm not even gonna lie, sounds like a Eugene. Yeah, I like Eugene too. I guess that's the start it then. I'll raise Eugene to be a splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. <coughs> oh, he likes it. Gee, I don't know. Where were we? Alright, let's go get that. Let's go get that gold star. Hello, Miss Celery. How's it going? Wait, hold on. Abra! Abba. I love it. If you have a progress to if you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokédex. Hmm. Garbage. Hmm. You have made progress. 
It seems you have earned yourself a star. Here you go. Why don't we just put this on your badge? A scarf? You don't have a badge. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star on the Galaxy Expedition Team. I feel like we're gonna mess up the voices, so I'm just gonna make a new voice every time. Hey! Four-sided Pentagons! Pentagon is a five... whatever. You can now use heavy balls. You, you mean heavy balls like these nuts? Pokemon up, up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your su survey reports will be generous. Will be more generous now. Have these as well. They are further recipes you will need for crafting. Thanks. I just now found them in, all, in the mountain of paperwork behind me. <laughs> one apricot, one black one. Oh shoot, I can make revives. Nice, I don't have to spend seven hundred dollars for one. That is that a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your naive talent and hard work. Are you guys gonna keep up keep bringing up that I fell from the sky? Seriously? Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up to our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from that sky, from that sky, that damn sky, people may be more willing to accept it. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and great rewards. Go get them, recruits. I sound like an Adrill Sergeant. Anything? No? Okay. Hey look! I forgot its name! Cyndaquil! That's that's a name. Look at Cyndaquil. But today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. I will now sing you a lullaby, a lullaby as you fall asleep. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> so, come on, give me there, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on your turn. Well done on earning your first star rating. But potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Wait, were you not happy to see me the first time we had lunch? The whole time they were just like, ugh, this sky faller. My, my lunch is ruined now. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey club duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on a, that request from Beauregard? Yes. He has a beautiful, uh, Bu... Bugene now. The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with, uh, with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the Cerebic Corps get called to help. Indeed so! Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard. Uh, shouldn't there be like a wanted board in the middle of town? Can be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request lately, recently, Akati? What's all, what's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Jungu could help, could handle it for me. I was told it would acquire a bit of skill when battle like Pokemon, so... Ah, uh, yes. That request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here at Hisui since before the galaxy, or galaxy team arrived. If we could establish... I can't speak today. If we could establish good relationships... Ugh. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them. Including more about the local Pokemon. There are Shakes, Bidoofs, and Starly. Maybe Driftlings at night. That is all. <laughs> Maybe Ponytails and Rapidashes. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some good rest. I'm just gonna add words to these sentences. Cause why not? <laughs> <laughs> 